Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the Elemental Maker. Today... Holy freaking sh... So, as we just previously did on a video, we made a little bit of synthetic ruby using that neat little oxypropane torch. But, as you can see, I got a couple uh, graphite rods here, and you might be able to figure out why. I did mention it in the video that I'm going to try to do an arc a little arc furnace to try to make some synthetic ruby. So I got a bunch of uh, carbon gouging rods and just in a very weak solution of nitric acid just etched the copper right off of them so left with pure graphite. Pretty cheap. I'll, uh, I'll drop a link in the description where I found these because I was looking for a source for a while. Happened to find them on Amazon. Pretty inexpensive and you get like 50 of them. So solid deal there. But more importantly Look at this old beast. Just found it two days ago on uh, Facebook Marketplace for $25. <laughs> now, it's in rough shape, but it's a, uh, a Lincoln ACDC arc welder, uh, 225 amp AC, 125 amp DC. Now this is an old industrial powerhouse. These things go for couple hundred bucks all day and I guess the guy just didn't really know what he had and you know it's in rough shape he didn't have a plug to test it but uh, these things are super robust so the only issue was some jackass had uh, totally flattened and bent the prongs so they would fit uh, another type of 220 outlet instead of buying the proper cord and, and doing that sort of thing you know, like most respectable people would. Um, yeah, these all bent and this one flattened. So I, I took the vice grip to these and kind of re-rounded this one as best possible and straightened these suckers out. And it actually freaking works. Let me uh, fire it up real quick. Lots of juice for those carbon arcs. Already gave it a, a quick little test. Uh-oh. Did I kill my breaker? <laughs> oh, yeah. Fucking ground clamp shorted across. All right, I gotta figure out a more novel solution of storing my uh, my clamps. Maybe make a couple insulated holders for on top of the tombstone. <laughs> Cause that ain't gonna work too well. Got the breaker reset. There we go. Made in Cleveland, Ohio, USA. Places. <laughs> Got the stinger and the ground clamp <laughs> off the body of the, the welder this time. So uh, that's good. <laughs> but let me uh, fire a quick arc. You guys can see it. I don't have my welding goggles, so I'm just using these oxyacetylene shades with just a tiny slit of light so I don't burn out my retinas. Even that's probably not enough, so I'm not looking directly at it when I strike an arc. I can only pray this is not going to fry my camera. <laughs> this, this is going to be a bright arc. Alright, I got it set to midway of the current, which is 120 amps. kind of terrifying. <laughs> it's like holding a, a Jacob, Jacob's Ladder in your hand. Holy shit. That's a little more powerful than the oxypropane. Add the chromium and aluminum oxide mix. Let's try to spark her up. Try not to poke myself in the dick. Holy 
freaking shit. That was terrifying. I think I was literally just liquefying the crucible. I don't know if I even touched the... Oh yeah, I definitely got some. Wonder if it'll turn into a ruby. Looks like there might be a couple little bits of ruby in there. It's fast. Holy shit! It's glowing bright as hell. Look how cool. We got ruby that freaking quick. Let's give that another go. I'm gonna zoom the camera out so it doesn't destroy my uh, sensor. Because being all zoomed in, it'll probably melt my sensor. That's actually developing some nice color in there. I'm pretty impressed. That is so unbelievably hot. I'm probably gonna get a nice sunburn on my face. The the amount of energy this it's just it's I mean you think an oxypropane flame is hot or an oxyacetylene, this is just you're like you're reaching star temperatures. I mean holy shit. Uh, I think that's gonna be a nice little ruby we got there. <laughs> that was a much quicker success than I was anticipating. I wish the color was showing up a little better on camera because it looks really pretty dark on camera. It's definitely a bit more pink uh, to the human eye. They fluoresce beautifully. But they're still a little bit dark and I wonder if that's due to carbon actually making it in through the arc from the rods and diffusing into the ruby. But then again, this is white hot, so I'd imagine any carbon is immediately converted into carbon dioxide. Could be wrong though. It might be able to diffuse into the crystal structure and not get oxidized. But either way, holy shit! <laughs> Electric arc is a way to go if you're trying to make ruby at home. Unbelievably easy. I mean, given the fact that you have a some sort of arc welder and some gouging rods. Just strip the copper off them, you're good to go. Just don't electrocute yourself because you have two large exposed electrodes. That, that's a, a recipe for a disaster around some people. Now, I was originally planning on doing this with a homemade arc welder, so I got these two microwave oven transformers, rewound the secondaries on them, and it puts out about 24 volts AC at some ridiculous current, but the fact that I was able to find that welder for 25 bucks on <laughs> Facebook Marketplace kind of made this go a little obsolete since I would spend more on proper wires for this. So uh, we might play with these in the future or uh, repurpose them for something, but uh, for now I'm just going to stick to the proper arc welder. These were of course built off the, uh, the King of Random style video rest in peace but uh that that was one of his truly great videos really was a hell of a bear to rewind these much much more so than the video would make you think all right new crucible who dis see how she works i did want to preheat it didn't i i sure did almost without doubt this is gonna crack and shatter and Fucking hell, let's do it. The buzz box is on. Whoa! <laughs> Don't want to take a stinger to the dick. <laughs> That'd be a shitty day. Oh yeah. Get ready to go blind, camera. Sure, shit didn't take long. 
what was that, three seconds? Although we got a, a nice bead there, actually. That's developing some good color as it's cooling down. Nice and fluorescent, holy shit. That might be the best yet. Well, as you guys can probably see here, I have five rubies <laughs> and one smaller one that uh, are all pretty damn nice. They fluoresce quite beautifully. And what I want to do with these is the channel's very first giveaway. <laughs> so if you're interested in getting one of these, and unfortunately I'm going to have to limit it to the continental U.S. because I can't afford shipping outside of the U.S. But if you're a patron supporter or if you comment on this channel, you will be entered to win. I'm going to be giving three away to my patrons and two away to commenters. And the little tiny one, I'm going to throw up on my periodic table. Anyway, if you want to win, drop a comment, join the Patreon. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, click that little dingleberry next to subscribe so you can get notified when I post. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great one.